solving different problems. I have seen in some papers when a data size is larger, some people are applying this fuzzy or some are applying this. <coughs> uh, right, fuzzy. right. Yeah, fuzzy, uh, uh, fuzzy approach. Generic. So, my yeah. question is to is where we apply fuzzy or neuro fuzzy or uh, GA according to the different data types or the you can say uh, data types. Yeah. Now, uh, again, that's the answer is very application specific. So, in, in, in some applications, no matter for suspicious people, it, it may not be acceptable to once a month miss a terrorist. <coughs> but there could be other applications where, uh, you know, if you're monitoring the uh, movement of people in an amusement park, it doesn't really matter if you're off by a few percent in your conclusion. And, and there, uh, you'd be willing to uh, uh, sacrifice some amount of accuracy for uh, efficiency in computation. Okay. So then you could resort to uh, uh, methods that are being developed for big data, which uh, could be fuzzy. So in fuzzy, you would say that uh, with a probability between 0.4 and 0.8, uh, something is out here, and then use fuzzy mathematics to make inferences. Or you could just go into statistical sampling methods where uh, you maybe randomly sample your big data and make an inference based on that, and with some probability you uh, are correct. 